Hi guys, welcome to Let's Go Fishing. We are doing a specimen session at Rode Kopjes Hengeloord. Mias, my, my pal from the Freistaat fangs on my fish. <laughs> As you can see, he's getting cold. I'm from the Freistaat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's not cold at all. Um, there's a cold front heading our way. Um, first proper one for the winter. Um, we in the month of June, mid June. Mid June, yeah. It, the water temperature is coming down very quickly. And it's normally a time of the year where we can switch to the fishy stuff, the spicy stuff. Yeah. Um, what are you going to throw? Shellfish, spicy krill. You can only uh, choose one. I'll cut it in half and put it together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shellfish, spicy krill, that's going to work. Um, we're going to give that green lip muscle a bash. Green lip muscle, definitely. It's that time of the year, yeah. you know. It's, it's back all, in stock. It's back in stock, yeah. The old green lip muscle is back, guys. Yeah. That definitely that uh, uh, Robin Red Bloodworm. I'm going to give that a bash as well. Yes, Good yes, time yes. for them. Um, we're not fishing through the night, so it's going to be day fishing as well. Well, we've, we'll fish the last night and just take photos on, on the last morning and sort of try and play out with that. Yeah. Um, guys, we're just here to, to see if we can teach you something about pop-up fishing. We're not going to fish any tiger nuts. Maybe a bottom bait boily will go in, yeah. but this is going to be pop-ups only. So um, we'll use a bit of bait enhancers. We've got a new feed that we've been working on, developing some, some, stuff, some new stuff. Um, we're not going to say too much about that now. We don't want to be copied again. Yeah. And, uh, but soon the, the news will break on that and that, that'll be available very soon. But Mias, I think it's enough gepraat. Yeah, come us van first. Let's go fishing. Fish on, Mios? Yep. Yep, go, go, go. Putting on my war paint, playing Alan Donald. And uh, we got a screamer on our right hand rod. Ooh, that is promising. <laughs> Mios? I think it was going 15 to... kilo carp or 20 kilo barbel? What's your choice? I take it. 20.26 carp here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is a run, eh? This is a beautiful fish. This is a run. I think you can go to Green's Power Station and let him there. Yeah, guys, we're fishing Rode Kopjes, like we said in the opening. And uh, the area where we're fishing, um, we're fishing on the old point. If you look at a, a chart of Rode Kopjes, it basically forms a, a, a V. We're fishing on that point, so Right hand rod is in the shallowest water and the further we go left, the deeper the water becomes. So um, it's the shallow water that's produced, that's produced the first fish now. So hopefully it's a sign of good things to come. You guys can you remember what's on there? Spicy curl. Oh, the, the, that, that bright that pink pop-up. Bright pink spicy curl pop-up. Yeah. Yeah. We're only fishing pop-ups in, in this episode. We're not going to fish anything else. And um, we'll do the hook presentations and um, there's a lot of ask around the pop-ups. So we're going to give you some information around that. We're going to concentrate on this first and uh, see if we can get it closer and land it safely. <laughs> what a what a start to the day. Man oh man, on oh, that spicy curl pop up. Spicy curl. What's the depth of the water that, that you dropped this in? Uh, that was in twelve feet. Okay. Yeah. And all Mia's found on, on the on the fish find is one little rock. So the key in Rude copies is to look for something different on the bottom. Just a little mouse trap. Not a, not a lot of feed and boom, 40, 45 minutes, maybe an hour. Maybe an hour, yeah. yeah. 
boom, stunning fish. We're gonna weigh this fish. Scale have been zeroed and uh, quickly get an idea of what they weigh. And then we'll grab a quick picture and release her. 13.50. 13, 13.45, 13.50. Come on, sister, swim off. Can tell your friends it wasn't that bad. What a fish. Well done, Mias. Mias, is this the rig that you caught that fish on? Yep. Okay, so the spicy krill pop up, eh? Spicy krill. It's that time of the year, low, you know, the, the bubble is now not that active, so I thought let's, let's give it a go. Mm. And uh, that, that's important yeah. that time of the year um, I think there's a lot of people that don't realize when it becomes winter in our dams we can actually fish the fishy flavors correct so um, and then the rig just a spinner rig just break it down there fast just show the, the, the viewers that don't know how it's going to sit in the water because I think the rig mechanics and, and the rig play, plays a big role in catching a fish yeah. like that well, it's basically 12 more pop up you look at the micro ring, that's where it sits. A little bit of tungsten putty. And all I did was I made, instead of a, a 7 inch boom section, I made a, a 10 inch, a little bit longer. Because we're fishing a little bit of salt as well. And uh, but that's basically how it's going to, going to sit. Yeah, it sits like that in the water. Hook point down, so if that fish picks up on that, if it sucks it in, you got a nice heavy lead that's going to set that hook. Wham, bam, thank, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> there we go. There's a cold front coming through. <laughs> the wind just picked up. So jacket's on. Um, Mias is ready to take his rod back out. So I just quickly want to show you what we are doing feed-wise. So um, nice fine particle mix. Very fine seeds. It's something we, we've been working on for, for a while. There's a bit of hemp, um, bird seed, sorghum, all the fine stuff, a lot of buckwheat in there, um, some crushed maize in there, and then um, also some boilies that we are putting in. So Mias, what did you do here with the boilies? So I took four kilos of uh, just a normal sweet corn and hemp, uh -huh. and uh, I took two bottles of the next level Okay. Put it. I put the boilies in the sun for half a day, oh. just to dry out a little bit, and then I put next level on it just to soak it up properly. And, uh, and yeah, and then. And that's what what's bringing the fish. Uh, it's definitely bringing the better fish, you know, to the spot. Uh. On on the unhooking mat, you can see the boilies coming out. Oh. So, and we've been fishing it for a while now. Sorry, secrets out, but <laughs> <laughs> one of those things. So we're just going to add a couple of boilies to this, and so that not too much, not too much, just a couple. And when, um, we 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 don't preheat, we mouse trap. So just a couple of boilies to that, um, and then just give it a like a a like a mix, so that all the boilies don't go into one spot. And the flavour that comes out of this. He's mouth watering. The nice thing about that uh, that next level low is as well is it's, it's got that milky. So yeah, it's, it's milky, and the, and the moment that you put it into the water, as it goes down into the water column, it actually leaves a, a scent trail, a flavor trail. Yeah. yeah, and that that trail goes downwind, and if they pick it up, they just follow that trail back upwind, yeah. and uh, boom, there it goes. Okay, Mia, you ready to go back out? I'm ready. Okay, but cut. Yeah, we'll go, go. There we go. Another one on the shallow rod. I must say, the conditions are a bit challenging. There's a cold front moving in, and uh, we've got a. Where we're fishing from, we're fishing on that pinnacle point. 
and the wind's blowing from behind so it's a suddenly wind it's a really cold wind where we're standing now we are being um, protected from that wind by the house but as soon as you move to the side of this house it is <laughs> snipping cold this feels like a nice fish Mias, are Ooh. you awake yes Yabo! oh these Same bait, same rod, shallow water. It's not the water, it's the bait. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I see a bit of yellow, I see a bit of brown, I see some bubbles. Ooh, it's not a small one either. <laughs> Long fish. Looks like a male fish from here. Yeah, male fish. Where we now? How beautiful is that? This is what I call Rode is magic. Mias is gonna do the honors for us. Come sister. Get into the net for us. Boom chakalaka! Ooh, ah! Here we go, thanks me us. Ha ha ha, there's my fish. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. <laughs> Shallow water again. Me us that same pop up. Spicy krill. Spicy krill doing the thing again, guys. On that spinner egg. I think we'll after we bait it rebated this one we'll do a breakdown of the rig for the new guys watching the show yeah. we're gonna grab a quick photo or two and uh, so that we can just uh, the uh, coming out. yeah there's some boilies coming out we'll show you that now there's the boilies coming out so definitely on that sweet corn and hem boilie Okay, yes, will you grab me a picture too? Thank you, sister. Off she goes. Majestic. Let's do it again. Come on, do it weer a keer. How's I? The rig we're using is called a spinner rig. Now, for the old guys watching, or the more experienced guys watching the show, these just remember there's a lot of new guys watching our show as well and we want to get everybody on board with the correct rig um, for the correct bait so in my opinion the spinner rig is the best rig out there in the world for fishing pop-ups all right so um, we are using a small pop-up a 12 mil spicy krill pop-up out of the signature series and specimen range so how does rig basically works we've got a, a quarter crank size 4 hook and then on the hook we've got a micro swivel um, where the bait is tied on and then that is stopped from sliding off with a little micro ring stopper that you can see there just in front of the swivel then on the back end we have a spinner rig swivel that is looped into a loop and boom section or boom section and that is crimped with um, with with a crimp especially made um, for for this purpose over the spinner swivel that just keeps the the hook from sliding off is what we call a kicker and if you go online onto YouTube and you just 
punch in into your computer how to make a spinner rig you're gonna get a lot of different videos on how that is made the tungsten putty that we've got on here has a purpose we basically want that tungsten putty to keep the boom section pinned on the ground so basically what's going to happen if the pop-up is attached to the spinner swivel this swivel the, the hook link is going to lie flat on the ground and the hook is just going to stand up like that Mias, can you just pass me Mias just gave me his rig that he wants to put back out so basically this is what's going to happen the boom section is going to lie flat on the ground and that pop-up is just buoyant enough to pick up the hook if that tungsten putty is not there it's going to pick it up completely but you just want the hook off the ground don't make it too far up maybe if you fish in salt you can pick it up a bit further but even in the thickest of salt as soon as that um, hook link hits soft salt it will stand up like this and it just catches a lot of fish not only here in South Africa but worldwide the action is a bit on the slow side but we started a fire we're gonna definitely do some game wars for a for a late brunch it's all part of the specimen fishing What a screamer, Mias! It's your turn! Ta-da! 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 Ta Yo! That was a run and a half. I'm not sure which rod it was. I had three different pop-ups on. Oof! Big fish. Big, big, this big is fish. The one. Way this out is in the deep. This is the one on the right of that gully. Oh, but I can't remember which one we did. Yeah, so what another, another white chocolate was this side. Yeah, I've got uh. my money on the shellfish there. What's happening here, the old Tabazimbi road, uh, the British Tabazimbi road, runs through Rodokopis. So the dirt road that you go into Rodokopis Angling Resort actually goes out on the other way. Um, on the other side of the dam at water affairs and we're fishing on the road before the road on the back side of the road and there's another point joining that road so there's lots of structure that that we fish and uh, it is if you can find the hard places um, there's lots of salt in road copies as well but if, if you can find the hard places around that structure put your um, bait down there just mouse trap you will always catch fish in those areas the deeper water takes a bit longer to come on but if they come on normally the fish are there coming into the bay oh i see yellow i see brown we see color it's not a tuna Into the net you go. So that's a chop chop BG pop up into the bottom lip. <laughs> and uh, that's the rig, just like we told you. So look at this fatty. Another result pop ups a chop chop BG this time. Lowe's favorite quality fish, quality bait. And uh, spinner rig. And uh, once again, this one we put it a little bit of those, uh, those uh, sweet corn and hemp boilies with that next level on cold weather. The fish is just loving it. This is the result, not a fat one. Time to set a free, the best moment. It's just a run that's better than this, Samias. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, Full really of energy. Strong. Into the deep she goes. I'm dipping my hook bait 
a chop chop BG pop up into the PB, which is our personal best. It's also been a pineapple flavor, and this is very sweet, very tangy. And I'm going to squirt some of it into my mouse trap as well. It is a bait enhancer, it answers hook baits, it enhances your ground bait. And pineapple in Druida copies is one of those things that really catches a lot of fish. Chop Chop Tigers comes through very well, but I must say, of late, the Chop Chop BG pop up and the Pineapple Plus pop up mm -hmm. has come through very nicely. Oh, it smells nice. It smells like a freshly squashed pineapple. On me, huh? Yep. It's just amazing that the spots that you don't introduce the boilies. Yeah. Light it's not, tempo. Not, yeah. It's just not the same. There's, um, we introduced a bit more boilies on, on this right hand spot in that shallow water. And it's it's just way, way, way better. That's a third fish on on that rod. And some of the other spots where we only put down the particles just is not coming on but it can also be a little bit of extra flavor hence the um, the bait enhancers that I'm going to to put into my, my mouse traps from now on it is extreme conditions there is a cold front moving in so as as soon as something like that happens it normally changes up and um, the fish go off the bite but just give them that little bit extra to just to get them nosy. It's a big mama. No, it's a big mama. A big mama. A short, fat, a tilly tubby. Put tilly. Oh, nice fish. <laughs> that is a proper, proper pot belly cop. And that spicy krill, yes? Spicy krill. Added a little bit more boilies to the spot. And uh, look at that little beauty. Are yes. you my brother? My sister. Yeah. Cool. That tail is bigger than yours. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Off she goes. Late in the afternoon, Rodekop is magic. No better sunset in the northwest. And the shallow rod is off again. Spicy krill stole the day. Come here. Yes? Yep. <laughs> oh, I think we're gonna eat. Yeah. <laughs> well, the chop chop BJ caught a fish. Um, but I must say I also think it's that spot. And and the extra boilies that we put in there. It's a spot that definitely had the most boilies. Put a chop chop BG out there and see. Yeah, why not?
getting heavier and heavier the closer it comes and also I think Rurikopi is at this stage the carp fishing mecca in South Africa there's no dam that produces anywhere near the numbers and the averages are picking up every year winter by winter fish are getting bigger this year we're hoping for a 20 kilo to graze somebody's scale and you have to be here to be eligible to catch that one while I'm playing out this fish hit that like and subscribe button please tell your friends and family about our show um, and leave us a comment if you want, to, want us to show you something on this program specifically specimen related um, if there's a venue that you would like to, us to go and fish um, just don't send us to a venue a public swimming pool where there's only one fish in we also like to enjoy it um, but the more people that like and subscribe to our channel um, the more we can we'll be able to do this and uh, don't keep the good news to yourself please share it with everybody out there this fish is coming in close let's go get it boom chakalaka it's chaos now my rod's off the one in the deep water <laughs> Mias is on that man oh man what a fish another pot belly carp this fish picked up on that spicy grill boily again or the pop up on that spinner rig no mess no fuss pop up fishing rotor copies 101 I'm going to get it back I'm not going to weigh it I'm going to help Mias to land that fish rod I dropped in 29 foot of water and it's uh, it comes out of a channel onto a ledge now on on the ledge it becomes hard it becomes solid it's like a clay bank and um, like I said earlier if you find those hard places in rotor copies um, put some feet down there put a pop-up on there man you're gonna get a fish for sure the color color of the day is definitely the pink and um, the spicy squid um, Ah, spicy krill, not spicy squid. Um, I'm thinking about that spicy squid, Mias, because that's also pink, but it, that's a pale pink. That's definitely going to work. This fish is just here, eliminated from Mias. Another male, Mias. Looks like a male, anyway. The line pulled through the pop up there, but this is how. Um, Mias, what's this boily called again? Shellfish. Oh, shellfish boily. <laughs> shellfish boily. Also fishy flavor. But that white and that, white and that pink. And that's why I put it on. This, um, the krill boily kept on working. The spicy krill. Because of the pinkness. And I decided to put this on. Just to see if that's going to work. And the result. Is there. What a fish. Beautiful fish, Mias. I think we're gonna weigh this one. Yeah, definitely. Thanks, though. Oh, Alright, Mias. Well done. Nice Thank fish. Yeah. Team effort. That's what. That's how we roll. Decided we're oh, gonna. Fish, man. I think it go. Fish, man. Good fish. Well done, almost, buddy. Almost. Yeah. Well, Thank you. Here getting. Getting to those 15 kilo fishes. We're fishing, yeah, we're working through them. <laughs> I think what we're going to do, we are going to fish through the night. Um, and I don't think we're going to film through the night. So what we're going to do, we're going to fish and just take photos. Maybe sack one or two up for tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow morning it's pack up time for us. Time to go work, to do our real job. But we're going to attend to this fish, put it back. See you tomorrow morning. <laughs> Thank you.
Guys, we've come to the end of an awesome session. We've had um, we've had a really good session. I think uh, about 12, 12 fish in total. Yeah. Um, basically for a day night session. Yeah, day night session, thirty hour session. Let's call it that. Um, the feed, the pop ups, the rigs, everything just come came together. The bait enhancers um, and the rotor copies. Yeah. Um, we, we, we fished the rotor copies in a cold front, the front's over now. And normally pre-frontal conditions are good and post-frontal is not good, but post-frontal was also good for us because we caught a lot of fish last night. Um, took some nice photos, um, we sacked them up, took, took some nice photos in the morning. Um, biggest for the session was 1510 that, that we yeah. weighed this morning. Through it. Yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah, so that that is that's awesome. I, I must say that that is to catch fish. We we didn't have one below ten kilos, no. and uh, I, I think if we put the rods back after they came out last night, we could have had a lot more. Yeah. But on, on this program, we say what you can do at home, what we what we do here. Um, it works for us. It's definitely going to work for you. Yeah. Definitely, like, I mean, it's a really spicy krill, something we haven't used in a, in a long time. We yes. gave it a bash and that gave us extremely good results. We normally, I mean, that uh, the Chop Chop BG came through as well on the deeper rods. Yeah, and then the I switched to, to, to the, the shellfish, Yeah, the, the white and pink two-tone pop-up, and that, that came through very, very well as well. Yeah. The fishy stuff in, in winter you can do in rotocopies. We didn't have one barbel. Um, which is um, the guys behind us had one though. I yeah. don't know what they what they put on, but in in all, awesome day, good day, um, just a privilege. Next time, yeah, right. I don't know place. where we're going. Um, remember to like and subscribe. Um, throw a comment where you want us to go and fish. Um, we we're just not fishing swimming pools or, or places where there's only one or two fish, <laughs> and also places where which is renowned that these that the guys normally battle. Um, and like I like I said, um, if there's any questions you need answered, um, throw down in the comments. We'll get to that for you. I think you guys can go and have a look now at the Facebook pages as well. Though. Yes. You yeah. know, we there's a lot of stuff coming now. We started redoing specimen essay page. Uh, a lot of short links, new, you know, what we do, Yeah. bait yeah. presentations. We, we didn't do the bait presentation, we're going to do a video um, to show you how to tie the pop-up onto the spinner rig. There's a lot of guys that don't know how to do it. If you can't wait for our video, just go onto YouTube, there's a million out there. But we'll do it for you here in South Africa with the baits that work here. Mm. So guys, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Ta-da!